Spider-Man Homecoming just opened in China and earned about $70 million. And that global box office, that added to the global box office, and that's pushed it actually past Wonder Woman's global box office, which is quite interesting and impressive given how Wonder Woman has dominated the conversation, the summer conversation because of her domestic numbers. Her international numbers haven't been as phenomenal compared to her domestic ones. Right now, Wonder Woman has, as of yesterday, 816 million. And thanks to the spy that China released just a little while ago, this past weekend, Spider-Man Homecoming has now earned 822. So it's pushed past her. We'll see what the drop-off is for Spider-Man Homecoming in subsequent weeks and for Wonder Woman in subsequent re weeks to see if that holds. But Spider-Man, China has helped Spider-Man whoop Wonder Woman's behind, <laughs> which doesn't exactly fit the narrative that's been, you know, going around Wonder Woman, the movie, this whole, like, for the past, like, three months. Wonder Woman's been called the movie that saved the summer, etc., 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 the most successful summer movie ever of 2017. And that's definitely true domestically and still domestically. Wonder Woman has earned, I think, about 410 as of now domestically. And Spider-Man Homecoming has about 327 domestically here in America. And that's not going to change. I mean, Spider-Man's not going to catch up to Wonder Woman in America. Not at this point. Not if she's that far ahead and if it's so far after they were both released. But globally, the story's different. And this is quite interesting. I did review Spider-Man Homecoming on this channel that was the first um, video I did, and I said I really loved it, and I was stunned. The second video I did, I think, or the third, was how surprised I was when it didn't do that well here in the States. But apparently other countries felt the way I did about Spider-Man Homecoming because they pushed it past Wonder Woman. Now, I'm not trying to necessarily pit them against each other. I loved Wonder Woman too. I loved the Wonder Woman movie and Spider-Man Homecoming. I think they're both great movies, and they both passed the 800 million mark. They're both successes. And I'm not trying to say one is better than the other. I'm just reporting on the box office. I mean, if Wonder Woman had stayed ahead, I would have been happy with that. And now that Spider-Man's ahead, I'm happy with that too. I support them both, and I want them both to do really well, and they are. I know the narrative, though. The media has been treating, at least the American media, has been treating both movies very differently. You know, Spider-Man Homecoming, there wasn't that much talk about it when it came out. Yeah, I mean, there was buzz, you know, leading up to the weeks when it was le released. Then after it was released, it's like you didn't hear that much about it anymore. Like the, the conversation about it died down and Wonder Woman was on everyone's mouth. You know, Wonder Woman this, Wonder Woman that, so fabulous. And even though Wonder Woman came out like before Spider-Man Homecoming, it was still so strong that that word of mouth was able to sustain it past an the release of another superhero movie that was a month later from a studio, from Marvel Studios, which has a stronger reputation in films than DC does right now. So it's pretty impressive that Wonder Woman was able to, I guess, dominate the cultural or the media conversation over a movie that actually turned out and did better financially in the end. I think the fact that the China release date was so long after, you know, both Wonder Woman and Spider-Man's release dates in other countries, that it was just too late for people to maybe notice or care that much. Because even though Spider-Man Homecoming has sh shot past Wonder Woman, I don't hear that many people talking about that either. I mean, if this had happened sooner, you know, when the release date was closer to when Spider-Man Homecoming was released in other countries, we might have seen the narrative be very different around both these movies. Both successful, but not with Wonder Woman being the one that completely, you know, eclipsed all other summer movies the way that it has been. But that's my quick update, box office update for right now, because it's about two movies that I really like. I love superhero movies, and I've talked about them both on this channel, and I wanted to update you about that. And what do you think? I'm certainly not trying to use this to bludgeon Wonder Woman or Spider-Man. I'm just reporting the numbers. <laughs> but if you'd like to watch me make more videos about comic book movies and TV shows and all that awesome stuff, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice day or night. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.